All right, guys, it's time for a little update on the 77 F-150. Um, uh, if you've watched any of these videos, you know that I got this truck from my dad. And uh, one of the things that he told me about was um, an issue that he had with the clutch push rod. And um, I'll show you where it's at in a second and um, <clears throat> give you a little bit more background on that in just one second. But uh, so I'm gonna be replacing that today with a, a more robust, heavy duty uh, version of that. And I'll show you where I got it from in a second, but let me show you what it's doing. I think um, I'm having a similar issue uh, that he had before. So let me get this camera turned around and I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about. All right, so <clears throat> I got my foot on the brake, pedal on the left is the clutch, as you know. So watch what happens when uh, I depress the clutch pedal and let it come all the way back up. In the final, about the final inch of it uh, coming back up, you'll see it slow um, and, and kind of uh, not stay up with my foot and then uh, suddenly clunk back into place. So you can depress it as it comes back up. That, that clunking is a, like a catch. Let's see another angle. So there's that final little clunk and um, as I've been looking into it uh, and, and read on the forums, um, this one, one forum that I spent a lot of time on researching issues on the truck, uh, another guy described exactly this problem and talked about it being the clutch push rod, which is basically this rod right here. Okay, which attaches way up there. Let me get this out of the way. So it attaches right there. And that's basically just a little plastic bushing. Um, it basically, you know, creates an L, a little elbow right there. That's a plastic bushing that goes through that piece of metal right there. Okay, and then just a little pin holds that, holds that in place. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna do it right now, but well, I can do a little bit. So if I depress the pedal, you can see that how it kinda, that clunk looks like it's happening right there at that elbow, right where that piece of metal um, elbows and then goes through. The reason that I think that is exactly the case is when my dad told me about this, he showed me the one that he had on the truck when it broke, okay? So it actually broke and then just to keep it so he'd always know what he's looking for, um, he, he kept it so that he would know what to look for. So you can see where it snapped off right at the elbow. So he got a, a not a new one, but he got a replacement installed on the truck and then he went to a junkyard and found um, like another one. So that's one with the bushing on it. Let's pop this bushing off real quick. But take a look, see how it's worn? That's a groove that's been worn and it's not supposed to look like that. Okay, and here's the other end. Okay, and see how smooth that is? That's how it's supposed to look. And the one that he got from the junkyard, see it's already been welded together. So this one broke at one point too, and then was welded back together. So let me show you what I have to replace this, okay? This awesome piece of machinery is going to replace, the one on the left is gonna replace what you see on the right. So this is much more heavy duty and it's adjustable in length. This end is fixed and this end, you see the threads. So you can adjust this up or down. I've already got this one set so that it's at the appropriate height. So I've got it so that it's exactly the correct length of the other one, just using this other piece as a measure. And then instead of having those plastic bushings that go on here inside the, um, and then fit inside the hole on those other plates, you've got brass bushings that are gonna go through. So basically, pull this off. This will go through there. This 
hard to do this one-handed. Plastic bushing, and then it'll go through the metal and then that bolt, I'm sorry, nut will hold it on. Okay, so that's my project for today. I'm hopefully gonna get this uh, clutch pedal operating very, very smoothly with this heavy duty uh, replacement, which shouldn't, <laughs> which should probably outlast the truck versus one of these. So stand by while I work on it. Also real quick, this is where I got it from. Uh, JB Custom Fabrications. Um, I actually first found this item on uh, Bronco Graveyard and tried to order it from them. And they were out of stock, which is, I'm finding a fairly regular thing. Um, <clears throat> so didn't take uh, very long to just a little bit of internet research to figure out that I'm pretty certain anyway that uh, Bronco Graveyard actually gets this item from this company. So I actually found it, uh, found it there and they got it to me pretty quick. Okay guys, got her installed. Um, I ran into one <clears throat> small, I don't know, little, little issue. And uh, I wanna say those guys at JB Custom Fabrications were extremely helpful. And um, I emailed with them and they helped me figure out what the issue was. But <clears throat> there's the new rod. Um, on the in the cab so that's how it attaches and basically the um at the end of the if i can reach up in there well at the right in there okay at the head of this uh, piece there's a swivel inside so this bolt goes through hits a nut on the other side and um and now the, the pivot point, instead of being in this piece of metal right there, the actual pivot point, the swivel point, is built inside the head of this arm, okay? Super strong. And then it looks exactly the same where it attaches on the underside. Exactly the same-ish. Okay, so right there, that's where the rod comes through the floor and attaches to the Z bar or whatever they call it. So it's installed. We only got a minimal amount of clearance with the end of that uh, bolt and uh, part of the frame, but I've tested it a number of times and it is smooth. What I wanted to show you guys though, was this push rod bar that came out of the truck. Okay, so first off it had no bushings. Like I was saying before, there should be bushings right here. Look how bad that was worn. So you can imagine as this piece is swiveling in a metal hole, you can imagine how not smooth that was. And it's like this on both ends. This end's not quite as bad as that end, but man, look at that, okay? So, So now watch the clutch action, the clutch pedal action. It goes in, comes back out. There's still a little bit. Watch that. Look, comes back. No issues. So super happy with that little upgrade. And uh, can't wait to take it for a spin.